Hi kids! Today I'm going to read you the story The Three Magicians from Fearful and Foolish. The Three Magicians, a folk tale from Ethiopia, retold by Rosalind Curvin, illustrated by Anne Wilson. One day, three magicians got talking. I'm the greatest magician, cried the first one. I can work better spells than you two. Huh, said the second magician. I bet they're not as clever as mine. The third magician snorted. Just wait till you see my spells, he said. They're the best in the world. There's only one thing for it, said the first magician. We must have a competition. Let's each take turns to work some magic to see who is the cleverest. Good idea, said the other two. The first magician pointed down the road. A pile of big white bones lay there, gleaming in the sun. Let's try our magic on those bones, he said. Hold on, said the second magician. That looks like a dead lion to me. So it is, said the third magician. That's just what we need for our competition. Who's brave enough to bring the lion back to life? Me, said the first magician. I'm not scared. I want to go first. He stepped forward and held his stick over the pile of lion bones. He took a deep breath and shouted, Bing bong, don't be long, join up bones, nice and strong. At once, the bones all jumped up and stuck themselves together. And there was the skeleton of a lion. I don't think much of that trick, said the second magician. You've only stuck the bones together, my friend. It still doesn't look like a real lion. I can do much better than that. Watch! The second magician took his stick and waved it over the lion's skeleton. He shouted, Dogs bark, cats purr, give this lion a coat of fur. At once the bones filled out with flesh. Then the flesh was covered with skin. After that, the skin grew a thick coat of fur. Now it really did look like a lion. The third magician laughed. Your spells are rubbish, he said. That lion's still dead. It's lucky that my magic is much stronger than yours. Watch! The third magician did a dance all around the lion. Then he threw his stick into the air and caught it. He twirled it round the lion's head and shouted, Ten, six, three, five, make this lion come alive. At first, nothing happened. But then the lion twitched. It blinked. 
It began to breathe. Then it stood up and stretched. It stared round at the three magicians with its big yellow eyes. It opened its mouth and gave a great yawn. I've won, cried the third magician. I brought this lion back to life. Huh, said the second magician. Your magic wouldn't have worked without mine. I made it look like a proper lion. But it was my spells that joined the bones together in the first place, said the first magician. And the three magicians carried on shouting and arguing about whose magic was best. They got so angry, they forgot all about the lion. But the lion certainly didn't forget about them. The lion walked round and round the three magicians. It sniffed them carefully. It licked its lips. It dribbled with greed. It gave a great roar. roar. Then it jumped on the three silly magicians. and gobbled them all up. Mm -hmm. The end of the story, The Three Magicians.